Hello, my loves. Welcome to my channel, Divine to Tarot. I'm your reader, Renetta. And today I'm going to tap into the energies of the Twin Flame journey. Okay. So I will be reading for the current collective energy. And then I'll be reading for your Twin Flame. Okay. So we're going to tap into both energies right now and see where you're at on your journey for this group of collectives that I'm picking up on. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's get right down into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Tula Tarot for the highest good of the collective on their twin flame journey. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will provide the energy for protection for my energies as I open up to you. I'll call on Archangel Michael Gabriel. Metatron area to come into my energies to give me clear, precise messages that is protected from the most high for the highest good of my collective on their twin flame journey. In the name of Jesus, I praise you, I love you, and I thank you. Amen. <coughs> okay, my loves, let's get right on into it. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. As for me, I am. Um, it is raining here in Southern California which we so desperately need. And I am so grateful and appreciative of this weather that we're having. It's like, it feels so beautiful. It feels like spring and I love it. I really, really love the spring into action is what I heard, okay. Some of you guys need to spring into action when it comes to your twin flame journey. Maybe it's something that you need to do or something that your twin needs to do. But let's rock, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you give me the leading energies of the collective towards their person? What are the leading energies of the collective towards their person? Twin flame journey energies here. Okay, high level soul mace is here. Okay, okay, all right. Win or lose. Ooh. <laughs> I heard shit. You could, you could, you could have it or not. I don't mean to laugh, but it's like it feels tiresome collective you could be very tired of this twin flame journey that you have and it's like win or lose shit i don't care no more. I, i'm getting a tired worn out energy on this journey right here win or lose you really don't care you really don't care because you're learning the lessons for yourself so whether this whether you can uh um come together with your twin in this lifetime's journey or not you really don't care i wouldn't say care but it's not you're over the hump it's not as detrimental it's not as worrisome anymore because it's like damned if you do damned if you don't anyway so it's like you just left it into the most high hands and shit if i win at this hey good if i lose at this hey good hey i'm tired that's what I'm getting. Look, refusing to see at the bottom of the deck. It's something that it's a that's a blocking energy. The most high is giving you downloads. Your crown chakra is lit to here, but that third eye is in it's in it's it's, it's embedded in the helmet. It's made of metal, it's it's blocking, it's 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 made of I heard made of made of steel. It's like you're refusing to see something that is obvious. This is why you're tired. This is why you like shit. Damn. Damn if I do. Damn if I don't. Hey, if I get it good. If I don't good. I'm just saying. That's what's here. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. What are the leading energies of the collective's person towards the collective? What are the leading energies of the collective's person? Ooh, we got two. Open up. They want you to open up. And then we have lead. Ooh, here go Divine Masculine here. Ooh, they want you to open up and see that, yes, this is the choice for you. It's making me feel like collective. Your twin, they understand. They on the twin flame journey with you. 
this masculine energy here, they, they're standing in their truth. They're coming out of the darkness into the light. They're stepping out of the shadows of self. They're stepping out of the shadows of self into enlightenment. You see that halo around them? Come on, baby. They want you to open up to this journey here. They have opened up. Oh, it's, it, it's feeling like after you giving up, they opened up. Boom. Woo. It's a beautiful energy. Just when you giving up, boom, they finally understand and they opened up. So it's, it's, it's like after you left, after you cut it off with them, now they see. Now they understand. They stepped into their masculine energy. Now they know what to, what to take control of. How to take control of this outcome of this relationship with you, collective. It's making me feel divine feminine, divine masculine. You could be in the same sex relationship. I mean, that's here too. You know, so, but you could be the femme in that relationship. And the masculine in that relationship is finally understanding. After you 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 get you given up, you, you stop putting effort into this connect this connection here. Bottom of the deck, we have challenging times. See what I'm saying? After you given up, they opened up. They're open to love. Is what I'm feeling. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Lessons is being learned here within self, individual self. Uh-huh. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is supporting the leading energies of this connection here? What is supporting the leading energies of this connection here in this twin flame connection here? Of course, it's masculine. Oh, oh huh, they said it loud and clear. Look, I was... Anywho, they said, of course, it's masculine and feminine. So, it, it, that's the energy. Okay. Uh, they just said that uh, that was between me and them. It wasn't a part of this connection or this reading. That was just something that they told me personally. Because I said it could have been same-sex relationship. And they said, of course, it's masculine and feminine. Or feminine and masculine. Feminine, masculine. That's what they said. Okay. If you're in a same-sex relationship, you could appoint these messages to the, towards the energies. But they specifically said masculine, feminine. Which is masculine here, feminine here. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to put it back because I, I was talking. I didn't ask for it. Um, they're, they're still talking. I'm hearing lost out. Lost out on love. Lost out on opportunity. This is how this masculine is feeling as though that they lost out on the opportunity of love with you. Because it's a, you're like a, hey, if it work, fine. If it don't, fine. Energy. You live in like that. Your intentions and directions in life is living like that. I can live with or without you, masculine. Now, after you got into that energy, feminine, this masculine is like, shit, I need to step the fuck up. Step out of my shadow self. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's like an energy of, um, now I know. This masculine had to open up to you as well. Because that's this masculine want you to open up to them. So, in order for you to open up to them, they had to open up to self first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's rock. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is supporting the leading, the leading energies of the feminine in this connection? What is supporting the leading energies of the feminine in this connection? Can you kick it out for me? Okay, I heard you. They say yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they say yes. What's supporting the leading energy? Boom, letting go. You're tired. You see what I'm saying? You will let this love fly. Because it's a tired energy of trying to make it work in this cycle with this masculine here. And then we have waiting. I'm tired of waiting on things to happen and work out with this masculine in this connection here. You see what I'm saying? That's that letting go energy. You, you're tired of waiting. You're letting go because you're tired of waiting. That's why that win or lose energy 
you're in. That's why you're in that win or lose energy because it's like shit. Damn, if it work out, or, or how should I say, uh, if it work out fine, if it doesn't fine. And I keep wanting to say, damned if I do, damned if I don't. Yeah. You done did everything that you know up, you know how to do. And you're leaving it to God. Now he's doing the impossible math. He's doing the impossible. Um, um, he's okay. He, oh, yeah, he's doing the Im impossible to make this possible. Okay, thank you. He's doing the impossible to make this possible. This is what you're leaving in the, the most high's hands. Because feminine, you done did all you could physically do, mentally do, emotionally do, spiritually do. You leave it, all of it, in the hands of the most high. Why? Because you're tired of waiting. And you're ready to let it go. You're ready to, to um, disconnect from this twin flame journey here. There's nothing else that you can do. What more can you do to bring this, this connection together? So you just saying, fuck it, I'm leaving it to God. You actually really truly leaving it to God because you don't want to do this no more. You don't want to be in the energy of trying to make it work, waiting to see what happens and things of the sort. You're done with that. You're leaving it in the hands of the most high. Once you've done that, boy, yeah, it opened this one up. Okay, this one came flying open. Okay. This one right here has revelation here, okay? With this masculine energy, <clears throat> you don't get into your 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 uh, uh masculine energy without going through the shadows of the past, the shadows of it. it, it this masculine energy it is it, not given. You don't. You are not gifted this energy. You gotta work through mastering all of the four winds of the. Of the universe, the four corners of the universe, earth, wind, fire, and air. You gotta master how you speak. You gotta master how you feel. You gotta master your actions contain and things of the sort to get to this emperor energy. This is what this masculine has done. After you done shut it down. Now I'm just saying. That's what's here. Holy Spirit, holy angels. No, that's too many, baby. That's so many, my love. Um, but can we get a supporting energy for the needed energies for the masculine piece? And can you, not a whole lot, I don't, you, you know I'm going to put them back. Can you, like, kick it out one or two? They say, yeah, I seen it, I seen it. They look, they say, yeah, I already did. And then and here it go. The future. The future. This was already flipped. Can we get one more? This masculine is planning for the future. That was supposed okay, that's supposed to be there. Okay. Let's get one more, can we? Okay, let's rock. They say yes. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What else is supporting the leading energy for the masculine? That's too many. Okay. Come on, baby. I'm not, you know I'm not gonna do that. Can we get one, please? Thank you, my love. True. Boom. That's the God honest truth. The truth finally set this masculine free. Booyah, I can't make this up. The truth has finally set this masculine free. I'm just saying. Because they're thinking about the future. They foreseeing it. Some of the, some of, some of the, a lot of, some of these, okay, I heard you spirit, a, a, a good majority of these masculines is getting downloads, visions, premonitions about the future, about the road of the future, the direction of the future, okay, the road that the, okay, the, the, the destined destination of the road that they was on in the future, they got a, they got a clear revelation about that. This is why they broke out of their old ass shit, the old self, to step into new self. They had to open up to spirit and open up to self. Also to you, divine feminine. Or your twin. Well, shit, that is your twin. Yeah. Okay. Bottom of the deck, acceptance. See what I'm saying? Both of you guys had to accept the reality of this relationship. Reality, reality of self in this relationship. 
It's making me feel as though you're looking at each other through each other's eyes. Looking at the perspective of each other. Yeah. This masculine is. Okay. I heard your spirit. This masculine is looking at this relationship or looking at you, divine feminine, through your eyes. Through the perception of your eyes. They're looking at things from your point of view is what I'm... That's basically what is being said. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. They're, they're, they're de decisively splitting these two energies. This is a divine feminine and this is the divine masculine. You can't flip it if it fits your story. That's just what it is. But what I'm reading right now... It's the feminine in one twin flame and the masculine in another twin flame. You can flip the stories as they may. This could be your feminine and you masculine. This could be the masculine and you feminine. You feel what I'm saying? But it's a split. And it's because of you feminine. You don't, you don't want to do this anymore. You, you, Self-preservation is here. Challenging times. Seek the truth. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Challenging times because y'all seeking the truth about yourself in this connection here. This twin flame journey here. This masculine is starting to understand that they are on a twin flame journey or they're starting to understand the um, journey within self. Okay. You got to accept the fact that things are magical here. With this acceptance and magic, yeah. You got to accept the fact that you create your own future here, masculine. And that's the God honest truth here, masculine. This is what you're doing, masculine, beautiful. Love it. I love it. Okay. What is the challenge? Let's get a challenge. Let's move these over real quick. Okay. Trying to get you to really see. And you know, keep up with the story. Okay. Um, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's get a challenge in this connection. In this twin flame connection. No. Yes. <laughs> they correct me on the spot. I'm like, I know. They say yes. And it's make the effort is a challenge in this connection. It says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. That's a challenge in this connection. It's coming from you, feminine. This is why you don't have, you had that case of Ross Arias energy. Hey, if it work out, fine. If it don't, fine. You not making the effort to keep this connection is a challenge. Feminine. It's a challenge to this masculine because you're in that case of Ross Arias energy. This masculine is sincere. This flame, this twin that you're in, that you're in a journey with collective is serious. Serious about this connection here. How they're going about achieving it or understanding it. That's an individual journey that, hey, I can't read that. But the energy they're in to, or, in order to go down that road to, of discovery. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, getting to know each other is a challenge. And it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. That is a challenge. Why? Because somebody is not making effort in this connection. Feminine. Boom. Let's get at the divine advice. What is the divine advice for this connection what is the advice the divine advice for this twin flame journey this twin flame connection holy spirit this could be this you could be on a, a a twin flame journey with someone else or this is a journey within yourself take the messages as they resonate this, you know this is what you're probably dealing with internally if you're not on that journey with someone else. Okay. 
because let me tell you something any journey that you take in life that is the that is divinely guided it starts with self so if you're on the twin flame journey with someone else baby you got to have that twin flame within yourself come together and be on a on an equal path an even path in order to be successful in a journey with someone else see what i'm saying so it's, 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 it's this this is what you got to do individually in order to come together physically yeah what's the advice holy spirit holy angels thank you receive me receive divine guidance is what i'm hearing every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan to trust my inner guidance like i just said divine guidance trust the fact that you're being divinely guided trust your innermost deep self your higher self your intuition your good In order to do that properly, I'm going I'm to put this out there. In order to do that properly, your intentions, your decisions, your direction in life got to be on the right side of righteousness. In order for this to work properly. Because if your direction is off, your intentions is off, baby, I was on, the, on the other side of righteousness, this shit ain't going to work. And you're going to keep going in cycles and cycles and cycles until events happen in your life to where you have no, uh, no choice but to understand that everything in life is pertained on the decisions of righteousness, the intentions of righteousness, the, the right side of being, the right side of living, the right side of doing and loving. It got to be on the right side of righteousness or else none of this will work. The most high is the center of life. The most high in his righteousness is the center of life. Period. You got to understand that. If you're looking at this video or this video is hitting you, it's because, yes, your decisions, your intentions, your directions in life, it has to line up to God's righteousness. Period. Point blank. Bottom line, he don't give a fuck why you don't want to. He don't give a fuck why it's so hard for you to. Still got to do it. And, and that's that's a harsh way of saying it, but that's the energy that, that, yeah, you can have all the excuses in the world why you can have all the excuses in the world why you don't want to do what's right. The Most High understands that, but the Most High is not bowing to that. What the fuck that got to do with his righteousness? See what I'm saying? I had to get that out. Okay. That, that that message were, was for somebody. This is what you're receiving. Receiving knowledge. Regardless of what's going on in life, you, you got to rock, rock on the right side of righteousness in order for anything to happen. Good. Because if you're on the other side of righteousness, of course you're going to have the, 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 the things in life that happen bad. I'm sorry. It is, it's good and bad. We know shit. We bit that apple or <sighs> we bit that out for us humans. And I got to say we because, hey, it, it, that's the best way I could put it. The Adam, Adam and Eve story, even though that's cartoonish to me, but the Adam and Eve story is wanting to know the knowledge of good and evil. We we we, we tasted that because we wanted to. And that what, that is what cut us off from ultimate and true righteousness. We got to work our way for righteousness versus it. Versus it being already given to us. I hope I got that out right. Okay. The toil and labor is because we got to work at being righteous versus us being given the gift of righteousness. Okay. Let's rock, baby. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about this twin flame journey? Mm. We have the Page of Swords. Boom. And we have the Three of Cups. You got people looking at this connection here. Outside people. Uh-huh. Looking online. <clears throat> trying to gain information. 
here uh, uh, asking folks, three of cups and the page of swords, people are asking around about this connection here. Trying to gather information from other people that's outside of this connection to see what the hell is going on in this connection here. This is outside energy in this connection, this twin flame journey here. You got other people looking in, gathering information, trying to be nosy, gossiping and shit. Probably happy because you're having troubles in this with this connection here and shit. Because it's something that they saw. Some information that they went looking for. This is outside energy here. Okay, I heard you, Spirit. That's, that's, that's for some. Like 30% of you guys, this is your twin looking in on you, having a good time and celebrating life with family, friends, and others. Okay. I heard some of them could be happy for you that you finally found it, but others, they, they spying on you, looking at you, having a good time. I don't know which twin it is, but one of you guys is doing this to the other, okay? Some of you guys, one of, one of you guys is, is actually um, stalking the third party, okay? Looking up information, gathering information about this third party that your twin is, is, is involved with. There's outside energy here. Oh, uh -huh. It's making me feel as though it's this masculine because feminine, your energy is just shut the foot down from this connection because you're so tired of waiting. You finally let it go. And because you finally let it go and probably going out partying with your girlfriends and your sisters and your loved ones and cousins and stuff, this, this other twin is fine and looking at you doing this. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me about this connection? Thank you. Look at, yep. Nine of Swords come flipping his ass out here. Yep. Uh-huh. All losing sleep behind what they see. The Nine of Swords and the Page of Swords is the Ten of Swords. Somebody fuck this up. This is regret here. Regret of what you what information or knowledge that the other one has gained. Yes. It's it's it's, it's somebody could have found out that somebody had a third party by digging and gathering information and they finally figured it out and then boom somebody else is dealing with somebody outside of this connection this twin flame connection there's a third party in this twin flame connection i don't know if it's on the feminine or masculine side it's making me feel like it's more so on the feminine side because the feminine has shut down from the masculine but it's it could be because this masculine had a third party and the feminine went looking and spying and shit and gathered the information that they needed in order to shut down on this masculine Yep. Follow the story. I know it came out fast, but shit, there, there you go. Rewind if you got to. <laughs> okay, but it's like, bam. Somebody could leave the other twin at home while they go out and have a good time. And that other twin that's, that, that is at home, they just up at night wondering thinking of the worst about the other one going out it's making me feel as though somebody have a job to where they host parties or um in the in the club you know it could be a dj a stripper it could be a, a host of a party things of the sort a bartender something like that but somebody is at home that is worried and, and full of anxiety about you going out doing your job or going out partying bullshitting or i'm gonna say bullshitting but because i don't i don't know but but being around another crowd or another group. Yeah. And so they, they continuously spy on you, look at you, think about what's going on, trying to gather information as to what is going on here. We had a ten of swords. Somebody feel betrayed here because of some type of nightlife or some type of family or some type of occupation that they have. Or it could be because of a third party here. yeah all right holy spirit holy angels what else can you tell me about this connection please what else can you tell me about this connection can you kick it out they say yeah oh thank you my love seven of swords see what i mean somebody sneaking lying cheating yep here mm-hmm up at night Thinking about it, somebody cheating. It's making me feel as though they are. But this three of cups, this nine of swords, and this seven of cups, it's making me feel like worst fears come true here for a twin. 
because the person that they thinking is doing this is doing this because we have the ten of swords here with the page of swords and the nine of swords somebody is actually doing this their worst fears are coming true or they 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 found out they found out that their 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 person was actually doing this and they're tired of waiting at home alone in their head about in their head about what they're doing here Somebody feel mentally stuck here with the page of swords and the seven of swords. Yeah, mentally stuck on this person or mentally stuck in always thinking about what this person is doing when they're not at home. This waiting energy right here is a big ass waiting energy. This is somebody that is waiting at home or waiting on this person to call or waiting for things to get better or waiting for things to change. Feminine. You know what I mean? You sitting at home waiting. And this one out here running around doing what it is that you fear. Somebody cooking up a plan here. Now that you know this information, somebody is cooking up a plan as to how to get back. It's a lot of air energy here. They they cooking up a plan on how to get back or cooking up a plan on how to move on. Yep. Because of this energy here, because they don't want to be in this energy anymore. This non source energy is mentally exhausting. Okay. This is somebody who, who's not eating, not sleeping here. Okay. When you're not sleeping, you're not eating. This this energy don't 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 depict that. Somebody know they out with a third party or or possibly they got some information about them running around with them on the third party with with the third party. And now they're not eating, not sleeping. Thinking of how thinking of a thinking of how to how to get back at. This is for some of. Mhm. Mm Either get back or get get back at or move forward. Okay. Oh, I couldn't get that out. All right, let's roll. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What else can you tell me? That didn't want to come out, so maybe it's a it's a afterthought or some shit like that. All right, holy spirit, holy angels. No. What else can you tell me? Thank you, my love. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, let's let's kick it on out. Can you kick it out, please? Okay, they see you. Thank you. Okay. I'll just take the first one, Holy Spirit, okay? I'm not taking all these. It's like five of them. I don't... Damn! They say, yes, I is. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles waiting again. Waiting to see if you're going to get a return on your investment here in this connection. It's making me feel like you feminine. Okay. They said, yes, I am. <laughs> I guess I am. Okay. The first one that popped out was Five of Swords. See what I mean? Look at this bullshit. You got the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Page of Swords, which is the, which is the Ten of Swords with the Nine of Swords. This is a lot of mind games, bullshit, and fuckery. You know. Feminine, this is why you're letting, letting go of this journey, this connection here. Now it's feeling severed. Feminine, you severed this connection with this masculine. And after you severed the connection with the masculine, his ass go want to step up and be the masculine in this connection after they fucked it up. They know they fucked it up because you severed it. This big ass three of cups here in the page of source. Yeah, you went looking and spying feminine to see if there was a third party. And yep, could have been three other people. Who knows? Huh, what's this? Death? Boo yeah, I told you you severed it. Scorpio energy. Pissed off energy. Chaotic energy is here. You said fuck it. This twin said fuck it. Could be a Scorpio. This could have happened. You could have found out about this or went looking in, in Scorpio season and finally got your information. And said, hell no. Nah. I don't want this anymore. Six of Pentacles is here. 
it brings some type of balance back into your energies here. Or this is somebody that want to balance this connection out with you, give you gifts and shit. You know what I mean? Cut out the third party now because they see that you ended it with them. And now they want to give you what it is that you always wanted. Looking desperate and shit. Two bitches is here. Two feminine energies is here. I'm especially sitting up under this third party. You see what I'm saying? This, this masculine. What you doing? Juggling ass shit. This masculine here is giving. This is a stingy. This is a. This is a. This is a stingy energy. And the reason why I say it's a stingy energy because in order to give to one, you got to deprive another. This is what you went looking for, feminine, and this is what you have found. And this is why you said, "Fuck it, I'm tired of waiting on this man to do right, be right." For this man to make me their only one, so on and so forth, this masculine. You said, fuck it, I don't want to do that shit no more. And cut it off and here they ass come because they feel the loss of you. What is this? Six of cups. Could have children together. Feeling very nostalgic here. Memories of love. Uh-huh. After you cut it off with this, with your twin. After you cut it off with your twin, here they come, want to give you some... Some, some measly they want to give you what they know that it'll it, it, it set you right that is what I'm hurt I'm hearing her hey I could be in the, in the southern states this is what I'm hearing okay they want to buy you off they know you pissed about this other feminine energy or this other person and now they want to buy you off to make things straight and balanced within them or this connection Uh huh. These are two giving energies. This is also two. After you cut this off with your twin, now the universe is giving you things that remind you of love, gifts that remind you of love. When I mean by gifts, I mean gifts of the spirit. It could be physical gifts, but gifts of the spirit. You remembering what love is. You remember how childlike you love could be you're remembering how happy you were going back to the things that you love things of the sort like that after you cut it off with your twin now you're rediscovering the 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 things about self that you once loved especially in your childhood so if you like to paint a lot you know growing up or like to run or you know work be with around animals things of the sort things that that you actually love the universe is giving this back to you because this cycle is closed out. You got 10 and then the death. 10 of swords and then, and then the death. You know, it's like... I heard revelation. Self-revelation -re is here. Yeah. Yeah, you discover self-revelation. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What is this? Five of Pentacles. Loss. This could have cost you a lot. For some of you guys, waiting on this masculine to come forth and actually be the masculine for you on this journey, it cost you a lot. Could have cost you a lot of money. Could have lost a lot of val or, or valuable things dealing with this masculine because you're waiting on this masculine to choose you is what I'm feeling. And, and now you're recovering from that because fives are changes and, 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 and things are moving to the six of pentacles. You had the six of pentacles to the five of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? There's some, type, there's some type of loss, some type of lack here. They didn't give you enough money. They didn't give you enough time, energy, and effort, things of the sort. And you feel that loss and that lack of what you've gotten in return from this connection with this, this, this twin here. So now you feel like you lost out. Okay, you've given what you had and you lost out. It's making me feel as though because the deaf end, because you had to say no more, you, you it came at a cost and a loss. And that energy is here. You could have lost money, could have lost, you know, friends, family, things of the sort. 
because you were in this connection with your twin. And now that this connection is done and severed and you letting go and moving on, tired of waiting on this connection to come together, it, it feels like you lost time. You lost value. You lost energy. This is why you're in that win or lose energy as your leading energy. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Good if it work, good if it don't. That That's here. And what is this? Seven of cups. Again, this six, the, the six of cups, the six of pentacles went down to five of pentacles. The six of cups went up to the seven of cups. This seven of cups right here, it's, it's, it's a confusing energy. You don't know what to do, okay? Hell yeah, especially with the five of swords and the seven of cups. You, it's like you don't know what to do. Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I take this opportunity? Should I, should I take this other opportunity here? It's making me feel as though your person, your twin, is trying to throw confusion to you and your energy so you don't know what to decide or you don't know what to believe here. This person makes you emotionally happy, but with this not a source of, look, the five, the five, the, the, excuse me, the three of cups and the seven of cups is the ten of cups. But this three of cups is sitting right next to the nine of swords. So this person do make you happy emotionally, but that happiness, it comes at a cost. Can you afford that cost? See what I'm saying? It's like somebody want to keep you in confusion. It's like this person always want to bring up what y'all used to have. The memories of love that y'all used to have. Okay, that shit could have been two, three, four, five years ago. When y'all used to be happy. But for the past year or two, y'all, you know, things have just been on the decline. But this person is, 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 is trying to keep that roused up and keep that around. Knowing that they still fucking around. It's like, it, it, it's, it's, it's feeling... Manipulish, narcissistic here. Let's clear. Let's let's clarify some things. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's clarify this. Um, three of cups. Let's just get right on to it. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's clarify the three of cups. I'm not gonna take that because it was flipped over. Okay. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's clarify the three of cups, please and thank you, my love. What can you tell me about the three of cups? Thank you. Two popped out. They popped in my lap, so I'm going to take them. See what I mean? We had a tower and a death. Damn. Tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Death. Scorpio energy. Death is out here twice. This third party destroyed this connection here. This is why you're letting go feminine. This connection changed you. This deception changed you. It came all of a sudden. This is some. This is an energy of, it, it happened all of a sudden. This ending was all of a sudden. You didn't see this coming. You didn't see. It's making me feel as though somebody came and told you about a third party here. You didn't see this coming. You didn't see the information of this third party coming. They had that you you knew, and now it got you up at night about the deception that this person was was doing because of mind games, bullshit, and fuckery. You didn't see this coming, and your person didn't see the ending of this coming. Damn, this third party fucked this up. Options, choices, and decisions here. Given to two. This happened, this was happening for a while for some of you. And you just now finding out. Your person, your twin was doing this for a minute and you just now finding out. But with the death card out here twice, for some of you guys, you could have found this. Oh, shit. Holy Spirit, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. For some of you guys, you could have found out this information after this person died or passed on or transitioned. You, okay? For some of you guys, I hate to say it and I'm sorry, but that, that just came on in. 
Some of you guys could have found this out after this person passed. What they were doing in the background. How sneaky they were. How they were giving it to two. How they had children with someone else. How they kept you up at night worrying about. You found out the truth after this person passed. This is for some. Okay, a, a small group of you guys. I would say maybe probably 10. They said 10%, so I'm going to say, yeah. 5-5, five, five, change, death, change. Yeah, somebody passed. <sighs> it's making me feel as though after somebody passed, you found out the truth that they were messing with somebody that you always knew that or suspected that they were messing with. The truth came out after they passed. That yes, they did mess with this person, but you always suspected it. Suspecting your person being sneaky here. But it, it came at, it, it's a tower moment because not only did this person pass away, your, the, the truth about them having another came out. This is devastating here. This is for some, a, a small group of you guys, but that energy is huge. This is why you had to let go. He was waiting for things to happen and work out, but you had to let it go because the truth came out. Could have been for a small group of you guys, it could have been after this person passed. But for others, for others, when this truth came out, you said, fuck this shit. You you you, you cut it off at the neck. You will be homeless before you even go back to this person. You will you will quit your job before you have to deal with this person again. This is what I'm getting, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords. One more? Okay. Thank you, my love. That felt good. Let's roll. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles. And the page of pentacles. You was up at night thinking that this person was out here being single, all, giving offers to other people to establish another connection or some type of solid foundation with. This is your worst fears here. This is what you was up at night thinking about. Um, this is this is for yeah. This is this is the main energy I'm getting. Yeah, this energy right here. Somebody didn't give a fuck that you was up at night worried. Thinking of worse about this connection here. They didn't give a fuck. They were, they were out there doing their own thing. Okay, accepting new offers or making new offers. Or this is what you was worried about. Them making or building a new life or a new, giving a new offer to a third party. This is what you kept thinking about. This is why you conclude this relationship here. Okay, because you, you, was, you was really fearing the fact that somebody could have been out there establishing another connection or another household or another relationship with someone else. So you cut that shit off before that even manifests. Yeah. You cut that off before it could even manifest here. Because the seven of swords, somebody was sneaking, cheating, and lying around, around you and shit. Okay, your twin was sneaking, cheating, and lying. But it's making me feel as though you cut that shit off before that, he could, could, that truth could even manifest. And after you cut it off, now they understand. Now they see. Or after you cut it off, now you, under, you found out the truth. The only major arcanas I have out here is death and tower. And death twice. That's not a good. That's that's not a good energy to be around in the twin flame journey here. Some of you guys didn't know this twin flame was your twin until after they passed. This is for some. If that's the case, I am so sorry. But you did not realize that this person was your twin until after they passed. This is for some of you guys. That's what's so devastating. You waited and waited for this person and then you had to let them go after you pass. After they pass. I don't mean to say you, but after they pass. Okay. All right, let's clarify this five of swords. What can you tell me? I'm not taking that. What can you tell me about the five of swords? That was the ten pinnacles picked up, but I'm not taking that. And here's the 
the chariot. I'm not taking that. That's all right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell me about the Five of Swords? Look, seven of swords. Look. I'm not taking that. Is there any more? Because that's right. If it's meant to come out, it'll come out. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What else can you tell? What? Let's clarify the um five of swords. What can you tell me about the five of swords, please? I didn't take those that were flipped over because they ain't feel right. And I'm not reading nothing that, that don't feel right. So that's why I put them back. Normally, I probably would have taken it because it was out of line, out of place. But it's making me feel as though there ain't nothing out of line or out of place. This was supposed to happen at the bottom of the deck. We have the six of cups. Okay, so we have the eight of wands. Movement forward, communication as well, passionate communication. We also have the sun energy, which is the Leo energy, the happiest card in the deck. Somebody want to talk to you, okay? Somebody that either realize, okay, I heard you, Spirit. Somebody realized the fact that they're going after their happiness here, or somebody realized the fact that they, you are their happiness, okay? We have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. The one that, okay, the twin that, that, that stepped out and fucked up, they want to come back and, and, and rekindle this happiness here that you had. It was a six of cups energy. They want to rekindle the happiness that you had here. But things are not moving forward. Why? Because this other person have to live off some type of karma that they have accumulated. When this wheel is in the upright, that means things are moving forward. In the reverse, no, it's not. Why? Because somebody have to make a pit stop at karma land. In order to get this energy in the upright, hell no, nah. you got to deal with whatever it is that that you that, that whatever karma that you accumulated, you have to deal with it. The wheel of fortune in the reverse, it brings about the negative energy because it's not moving forward positively. So you sitting here in this negative energy, especially clarifying the five of swords. Somebody want to come to us, you, but they can't get to you because they got to deal with their shit. It's making me feel like this masculine here. They want to come towards you, the Six of Pentacles. I mean, Six of Cups here, yep. Well, let's clarify. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? I mean, because that's a major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, please, Spirit? Can we get one? Let's rock. Can you tell me why the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse? Thank you. Because the seven of wands is in the reverse. Because somebody let their guard down. Somebody let their guard down. Somebody didn't care anymore. They let it go. In the upright, this is protective energy. Standing your ground in the reverse. No, you let it go. Somebody let this connection go. And because this connect, somebody didn't stand up for this connection or stand their ground, against anything or anybody against this connection that's what made the will of fortune come in the reverse because it's like shit you didn't stand your ground against a third party here so therefore because you didn't stand up to or stand your ground against this third party here booyah well the fortune came in the reverse there's no moving forward in this connection because you let your guard down That person is pissed because now they see and understand this masculine here. Now they open up and want to come forward after you cut it off. Why? Because they let their guard down towards the the protection of this connection. Okay? They didn't let they let the inside, they let the outside in. They let the third party in with this death and tower. And when they did that, booyah, it blew this whole connection up. Most high don't even want it. Because it's like you fucked up something that you already had, that you already knew, that you that was given to you. This is what I'm feeling that was given to you, or that you was already established in, and 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 and, and shit. Hmm.
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the death. Let's clarify the death energy. One more? Okay. Thank you, my love. I appreciate that. Let's go. Okay, two or uh, three came out. Okay. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. It's the end of that. Like I said, something that somebody had established. Something that somebody had invested in, build a family, a home, finances with. That came to an end because of a third party. You let the outside in. Masculine. To a source in the reverse. Somebody made a final decision. <clears throat> Two. This is also to somebody who finally sees an upright. This is somebody that is blocking some type of intellect, some type of knowledge, some type of truth here. Okay, this is also to not making a decision because you had a crossroads. And the reverse, no. And then we have the four of pentacles in the reverse, not holding back, letting go. Somebody really let go of this connection here. Somebody really let go of, they, they, threw, they threw it away. They threw away everything that they have built in this connection here because of a third party. And because that had happened, the other person threw the whole damn thing away as well. That's why death is out here twice. It's death on both parts here. Y'all ended this connection. This is why make an effort is a challenge and an issue because ain't nobody making no, no effort to reconnect or to rebuild or to even heal from this third party here. This could be a this third party could be a person, place, a thing. I'm I'm getting drugs, alcoholism, the party life, or a third party. Somebody wanted something outside of this connection more. And they killed this connection. And because they did that, the other person put okay, the person that killed this connection put a knife in it. The person that uh uh that they 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 jeopardize the connection with put 10 knives in it it's like okay i'm gonna sever this connection fuck that because you severed this connection i'm gonna kill this connection it's like a dun dun unforgiveness is here unforgiveness of what happened and actions that were taken and unforgiveness the unforgiveness of self because you allowed it to happen Okay, that's what's here. What's this seven of swords? Holy Spirit, holy angels. What can you tell me about the seven of swords? Alright, Holy Spirit, holy angels. What can you tell me about the seven of swords? Okay. We have a quite a few. Well, we have the six of i mean the seven of cups in the reverse the ace of swords in the upright somebody is clear the ace of cups in the upright and the hangman in the reverse somebody is very clear they don't need to see no more they don't need to see no more Every, yeah somebody with the seven of cups in the reverse somebody is coming out of some type of illusion or confusion here because we have the ace of swords right behind it you see what i'm saying so somebody is illuminated to the fact that somebody was out here lying cheating cheating and sneaking around here okay this ace of cups this ace of cups somebody found either self-love or a new love here um refusing to see this, this hangman energy in the reverse is somebody refusing to see that somebody was their true love here because they went out there sneaking in line and cheating and stuff and the truth came out about it. This makes me feel as though feminine, you could be not wanting to accept the fact that this person that ran around on you with a third party is your true love. Because they were lying, cheating, and sneaking on you. Sneaking around on you. So you, you don't want to believe that this person could be your person when they did this. And 
And like I said, it doesn't necessarily, it's not feeling like a person. That's what I'm saying. It could be something else. Something else that they put before you. It could be a job, a career, a passion in life. You know, something that made them happy that was outside of you. And they went after it. And because they did that, you said, fuck this. I, if I can't be your source of happiness, I don't want to be involved in it at all. That's the energy that's here. It's not necessarily a third party person, but it's something outside the, the connection that made the other person happy. That gave joy and celebration to that other person. But because that other person stepped outside of you to find that joy and, and peace of mind and celebration, you felt that it wasn't it was you wasn't enough or this wasn't enough or that person wasn't enough for you and you cut it out. This is somebody that could be, you know, going after their passions or taking care of family or things of the sort. Something that they they, they had to do outside of you in order to bring satisfaction happiness celebratory this is a celebratory energy here you know this is like somebody who could pick up a hobby that you're not involved with or you know they they go fishing or bowling and, and that's their source of happiness and stuff but because they go fishing and bowl, bowling on friday nights you're thinking there is with somebody else and you said fuck it you didn't have you you, you it's not you this hangman in the reverse it's it's a it's a cold ass energy it's like a i'm getting a know-it-all energy like i don't want to see i don't want to wait to see if if my fears are true type energy or if this is true type energy you 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 it's like you jumped the gun you, you reacted too fast it's yeah. This is also too for some of you guys. You because you don't want to wait anymore. Like I said, with that letting go and waiting, you're not waiting on love to come anymore here. Okay. Or waiting on this person to give you that ultimate true love that you want here. Okay. Because the truth came out about something that you was confused about. Here, or you that you was in the dark about, or somebody made a choice and a decision not to wait anymore. This is you, feminine. This is another, this is the other message that I'm getting as well. Somebody was overthinking here. Okay, let's clarify one more. Let's clarify this five of pentacles. What can you tell me about the five of pentacles, please, spirit? The Queen of Swords in reverse. And the Six of Wands in the reverse. This is why you kicked this person out on the cold. Because you was pissed. And you know that there was no victory or success in this connection here. So you said, fuck it. Feminine. Keep repeating the, the uh, messages. Yeah. There's a, you felt there was no victory, no success, no acknowledgement here. Okay. Some of you guys could have felt as though this person um, wasn't uh uh praising you giving you the acknowledgement that you needed or that you wanted for your efforts in this connection here and it pissed you off and you just said the hell with it okay all right holy spirit holy angels what advice do you have for the the collective regarding this situation what it, thank you your hard work is paying paying off your hard work is paying off. So keep going. Keep moving in the direction of healing. Okay. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Holy Spirit. Okay. I'll take it. The energy is gaining momentum. Things are coming to a head. Okay. Just hold on a little bit longer. Look. Prosperity lies ahead. Okay, so it's making me feel like there's something that you're going to gain from uh, going in your own direction, going towards something that will make you satisfied here in life. Yeah. And then it says nothing yet is set in stone. So this is making me feel as though on this journey right here, perspectively, there's an inward journey that you have to go on within self in order for you to bring this connection together. And this is what's happening. This is what you're advised to do. 
being advised to do here is to work on self, to heal self, to get your own action, thoughts, and decisions and intentions in alignment with the most high. And therefore, you can move forward here. But you have to heal. You have to. It's a process. It's a process of, of moving forward, especially after being after an ending. Especially after an ending. Like I said, this person could have passed as well. And all of this has came out after the fact. But if they haven't and they're still here. And y'all, you guys just have separated. Or just, you know, uh, um, broken up. Or walked away from this connection. It's, it's, it still takes a process of healing within self. To get over the devastation of what you had just went through with your twin flame. See what I'm saying? Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell me about... The person's twin. What advice, I should say. And then they look, they just flipped on out. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon and Aries. If you believe in them, or believe in the impossible, excuse me. Believe in the impossible. And then we have your commitment is being tested. And then we have a new start is coming. Yes, yeah, so it's making me feel as though Spirit is saying to the collector's twin, Keep moving forward. Um, if, if you believe that this is your person, if you believe that you guys could reconnect, if you could heal this, if you could come back together, keep acting that way. Okay? Don't give up. Don't think that um, because they didn't respond in the way that you wanted or you don't get the results that you put effort into, that that is a bust, that that is no more. No. Keep moving in the right direction when it comes to love and righteousness. And then those things too shall be added to you because that's the energy that you're absorbing, absorbing, and therefore the universe have no choice but to respond to you back with the same energy. You get what you get. See what I'm saying? At the bottom of the deck, confidence is key. See what I'm saying? So be confident in yourself. Be confident in this relationship. Be confident in the efforts that you're going to that you're taking is going to manifest the results that you're desiring. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Yep. That's it, my loves. This is all I have for you. This has been a pretty long reading, but it was a really necessary reading for the Twin Flames because this is what's happening to this group at the moment. And um, I hope that these messages that I have given to you will be helpful in your healing and ascension through the journeys of love. Okay. All right, my loves. This is what I have for you. So till next video, I'll see you. Bye.